What's going on Omnibuddies? Mitch here and today it's a bit of an unboxing but it's not really. It's an overview. Today we are looking at what I would consider my all-time favorite, my top Kickstarter so far, and my top magnetic press book so far. Well it's not even one book, it's two books. If you've been following for any time you know what I'm talking about. It is Matthew Bablett's Shangri-La and Carbon and Silicon. I am so excited to dig into these books. I've read them digitally because uh, Magnetic Press hooked me up with some digital proofs of them before the book. Uh, before the book's Kickstarter even ended, which was super cool. I'm super grateful they hooked me up with those. Uh, but you know what? I'm even more excited that I finally have this uh, Kickstarter exclusive hardcover slipcase edition. Uh, you can pick it up at Magnetic Press's website. I don't know that you can pick up the exclusive slipcase edition. There might be a couple that hit shelves on their page. Uh, but if anything, pick up these hardcover books without the slipcase because they are really good. And you know what? We are going to open up all the goodies from the Kickstarter and take a look at them and do an overview and see all the cool stuff going on and why these are my favorite Magnetic Press books so far. All right, let's get down on the table. All right, so first things first, we have uh, the double slipcase edition. Uh, this is Shangri-La. And then on the other side, we have carbon and silicon. Uh, here is the spines, which look great. Shangri-La is that uh, platinum silver emboss and carbon and silicon is that gold, which is super cool. Got the great logos on there and all that. Uh, here is the other spine, I guess I'll turn it sideways so you can see it. Um, very cool, also has that uh, foil emboss. Very well constructed, it's got like this uh, kind of uh, um, linen type feel. It's, it's not fabric, but it definitely has a little bit of that uh, material feel to it. So um, we're gonna actually set this to the side real quick. And because this was a Kickstarter, um, it actually has a ton of extra stuff that came with it. So we are gonna go through that really quick. So this is all packaged together. So uh, first things first, we have the limited edition. Uh, let's get that in focus here. Oh, let's get that off there. A little sticky note. Um, try and get it there, there we go. So we have the limited edition. Um, so I have 162 out of 700. Uh, this is the sign, uh, numbered card, I guess. Uh, it's got really cool kind of, maybe on the back you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, just kind of that linen texture material, really cool. So that is the first thing. We'll put that over here. And then let's get all this stuff in here too. So this is actually, I think, one of my favorite prints. Super cool, beautiful colors, really cool rendition. Of uh, this, this has got to be for carbon and silicon, um, you know, human robot integration type stuff. Really, really cool. Um, also, again, carbon and silicon, really cool prints. Just the art style in this book is awesome. It's not foil, but it, it's so bright and neon, it almost looks like it's a foil emboss on there of that gold. But really cool card stock, really nice. And then one more. Uh, it's like more, more of a panel uh, print, which is pretty cool. The colors on these are just so nice. And then we have a Shangri-La print, which is just gorgeous. This, this is definitely one I could see hanging up in my office or something like that. Just super cool, very nice. Um, so that is the prints that were outside. Um, and then we will dig into all the stretch goal type stuff that that we got going on. Let's get this open without ruining anything. Uh, 
Come on. Very sticky sticker. All right, let's get this party started. All right, let's get this going. Very cool uh, Shangri-La print. Really cool shot of all the characters, all that. Uh, we'll put that over here. And then let's get, ooh, a one-shot. I totally forgot about this. John Small Adventure one-shot. Very cool. That is awesome. I'm really excited to read this because uh, I've read both uh, Shangri-La and, and um, Carbon and Silicon. So this will be cool because I don't believe this was included in what I was given. So that's really cool. This is a really interesting feeling material. It's got like a, it's not matte, it's not gloss, but it's got like this really interesting, like soft feel to it. Very cool. Love that. Uh, let's see, production sketchbook, which um, they do these a lot for stretch goals and are pretty cool. I love seeing the character progression in the design and all of that. Really cool stuff, covers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, so then you flip it to the other side and it's the carbon and silicone production sketchbook. That's cool. That makes sense, okay. Very cool. The world building in carbon and silicon is amazing. Uh, not to not to discredit um, Shangri La because that world building was really really well done too. But uh, carbon and silicon just ups it a lot. Um, very cool. That's awesome. Um, and then ooh, this is cool. I forgot. I, I generally don't look too closely at all the stretch goals, but. That's a really cool patch. It's got to be like an iron-on, I imagine. Um, really cool Shangri-La patch. Um, what else we got here? Some stickers. Some Shangri-La stickers. Basically, all the space stuff is Shangri-La. Very cool. And then, ooh, cool. Got some carbon silicon stickers. Oh, these kind of got like a shine to them. Interesting. Very cool. And then a magnetic press sticker. That's cool. That's awesome. I've never gotten, I don't remember ever getting stickers from, from their Kickstarters. I probably have. Um, and then, oh, that's cool. That is a really cool button or pin, not a button. It's a really, really cool carbon silicon pin. I love that. I'm probably going to put that on my bag. And then we, of course, have the stretch goal challenge coin. Very cool piece. I love these challenge coins. I have them all. Um, I am just missed the only magnetic press one that I'm missing is, uh, um, which what's it called? Paris 2119. Oh, that's cool. Come on, focus up. There we go. That's really cool looking. And then we got Shangri-La on the other side. That's cool. I was wondering if they're gonna do two coins or if they're just gonna do one and have each side like that. That's pretty cool. Not that I would have minded having two coins, but you know, there we go. All right, so that is not in there. Let's get you back in there. Sorry to make you watch that. All right, so we will get rid of all these stretch goals, get them out of the way, and we are going to break into these books. Um, very cool, ooh, I like that mustardy yellow gold in there. That's really cool looking. But yeah, look at this, so cool. So well done, absolutely stunning work. Very nice. Love it. All right, we'll put that off to the side. I'll quit oogling it. And so here are two books, Shangri-La and Carbon and Silicon. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you want me to go through first. Um, this isn't live, so I'm going to actually put this off to the side and I'm gonna choose. So we will do Shangri-La first. Get this out of the way. So we can just highlight this book. So this is Shangri-La. 
Uh, it's got the uh, foil, silver foil emboss in there, and you saw the print earlier. That's that cover. There's the spine, and here is a shot of the back of the book. Very cool. Um, and this one has the silver foil tipped pages. Very cool. And of course they have the magnetic press rounded corners because I love that. Um, all right. Well, you're going to see me do this really quick and uh, kind of break in the books slightly real quick because I always break in my books. Holy cow, these books are huge. The format, uh, I think it's library edition. It is it is much bigger than an omnibus. So this is, yeah, there's got to be a library edition. Um, feels more like the scale of um, a, like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers boom book or something like that. But, all right, we will take a look at the end sheets real quick. And super cool stuff. This is, again, written, this blows me away, too, when a uh, creator does the entire book, and it is written, designed, and illustrated all by one one creator. Uh, Matthew Bablett, I think is how you say his name. I'm sorry if it's wrong. Matthew? Matteo? Something like that. Um, but this is a really cool story. Um, spans time and space a little bit and very interesting story that kind of takes you on a bit of a journey on how all this happens and why these people are on this planet and all that and all this happening um and man the art is just outstanding okay so yeah that print was from a page um but yeah a mil one million years later so um, it definitely does span time and space, uh, but it's also, let me adjust my lights here really quick because we're getting a lot of glare. It's a little bit darker, but better, less glare. Um, so the whole thing basically takes place in space, not on earth, but around earth and just kind of this, what's happening on the space station and there's these weird anomalies happening at the space station and they people aren't understanding why and there is a mystery on you know afoot and these i don't know if they call them teenagers young adults um are trying to figure out what's going on and they're very much in a it was kind of a grown-up wally -E, is what i got from this like a 2001 space odyssey meets wally -E. and it was really cool and really well done. Uh, love it. Love these arts. The colors are just so vibrant. Man, these pop way more than they did digitally. Holy cow. This is really cool. Uh, they have uh, animals that talk or, you know, act like people. How they're treated is much different. Um, so there's a lot of social commentary, uh, racial commentary, um, societal commentary in general on technology and accepting your place and what, you know, just being complacent with your latest phone or tablet, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Uh, a couple of these shots kind of reminded me of like something out of Gundam. Uh, just <laughs> these light beams and all that sort of thing and just explosions and yeah. So very cool stuff. They go on an adventure. Um, this is uh, one of the examples that comes to mind when I say that a lot of these European books that they're bringing to America and translating to English um, aren't always fully translated. Like all the text block and speaking and all of that is translated. But the art itself, like up in here, you're seeing some of this art isn't at all translated it's left in its native language which i think is cool um keep some of that cultural aspects of it which is very cool i like it and it doesn't really affect any your reading experience at all so um don't worry about that if you're seeing that art not being translated yeah 
Um, very cool story. I don't want to flip too much through the end because, you know, it, it gives it away. Love it. They got a nice ribbon in here. Would have been cool if it was like a silver ribbon to match the silver tipped sheet uh, ends of the uh, text block, which would have been cool, but you know, it's all good. So I'll just kind of flip through some of this so you can get an idea of like the big spreads and the color. Um, very cool story, very cool heart to the story. I think you kind of, you get to know the characters, you get to really feel for them and get to know them as people, which is cool. Th these are a little bit longer books than the normal uh, books that Magnetic Press has been doing. So you can sit with these characters and these stories for a lot longer than, typical, than, than you're typically used to with Magnetic Press. Um, so not only are they great world building, but they're also longer so you have more time with the characters in the story um so let's see let's see i'm trying not to show too much i don't think there's much yeah so okay so that's basically the end right there and uh a little thank you from the creator and that's it so there's not really any extras in this book so that's a little disappointing that there's not too much in the way of extras, but uh, it's a pretty solid piece, pretty good book. Um, I don't remember exactly how many pages we're sitting at. Let's see, uh, 222, yeah. So they're in the low twos, I think, both of these books. I actually think Carbon and Silicone's uh, in the high twos, 200s, nearing 300. So um, that is Shangri-La. And now let's get into carbon and silicone so this is the cover it's got that gold foil emboss on it really cool uh, same for the spine and right here and both of these books i forgot to do this before with the other one yep they're both 29.99 msrp so if you're buying them uh, individually from uh, magnetic press's website they'll cost you about 30 bucks usd uh, but again you can use that uh, just, uh, the link in the description for 20 bucks off or 20% off, 20 bucks off would be awesome. 20, 20, off your first order. And that also helps the channel. So let's do a really quick, uh, breaking in of the spine. If you don't know how to break in a spine, this is how you do it. You go a few pages at a time and kind of push down as you go. And, uh, break in that spine lightly. You don't just want to snap a book open because that'll kind of jar the, t the uh, spine a little bit too much. Uh, some people do page by page. Um, I do not like doing that. It just takes too long and I'm too, too uh, impatient for that. And some people actually flip the book upside down when they do this as a tip. Uh, so you don't actually, you're, it makes it harder to accidentally read a spoiler or something like that. But this book has gold foil. So you can see gold and silver foil for both of them. Super cool. Um, man, I love the art style in this book. Both of these books really, but like, like I keep saying, Carbon and Silicon was definitely my favorite of the two. Um, so if you're strapped for cash and you got to pick one, I would definitely say Carbon and Silicone uh, has that, like I said, that uh, do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, iRobot type type feel to it um, over, you know, a huge span of time. Uh, but yeah, you can just see how, holy cow, look at this art, just amazing art. Um, and it's basically talking telling the story of two, two androids and they're becoming sentient and their maker, well, one of their makers, and um, when they become sentient and then they start causing problems and they get bodies, uh, it is graphic, as you can see. Um, so it is not for kids, that's for sure. It's not PG. It's at least PG-13, probably more than that, because it's a little full frontal graphic and sort of situation. I would definitely say it's for a late teen reader, um, whereas uh, Shangri-La could, you know, could be a little bit younger if you wanted. Um, 
let's see, yeah, the colors in here are super cool. Uh, mo mostly throughout, they stick with these earthy tones, um, kind of a d dystopian color and the world as it crumbles around them year nine so you can kind of see how it keeps building year after year and then it keeps going on you know they're trapped as androids in this facility and then escaping the facility do they don't they um meeting up on the internet you know through their their uh uplinks and things like that and on the run and then, you know, eventually dealing with uh, falling apart and trying to deal with uh, life around them, you know, being silicon life versus carbon life and the differences and how they adapt to it. Um, very interesting story in it. Um, and then... Oh man, it's just so, so good, so good. And when they meet online, you kind of get this interesting, uh, I don't even know what kind of effect to call this, but the art in it is just out of this world. Um, color changes, huge color splashes across these pages. Just so, 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 so good. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Yeah, so 136 years later. So this one does span a lot of time and uh, what happens to the world and their world and how it all evolves and really devolves is a major thing in it. And what they... I'm trying to flip through a lot of it. For one, this is a really long story um, or video and uh, I don't want to give away a ton of it, but you can kind of see what's, you know... Each chapter or year that they hit on is kind of a different color, um, represented, you know, life and death and destruction and sickness and all of that and hope. Um, so that is, yeah, so that's the story, the end. Um, there's some afterwards in here. So this one has a tiny bit more um, for you in the way of extras, which is nice, but not a ton. Uh, but we do have that production sketchbook. So if you did the Kickstarter, you at least had the production sketchbook. This does also have a ribbon. Would have been cool if this one was gold, you know, if they matched these ribbons with, uh, with the, with the look of the book would have been a little bit nice. That's probably my only, I guess if you'd call it a complaint, but that'd be my only, you know, suggestion if they, uh, reprinted these at any point um but that is these books and the slip case and we will get all these guys out here we got a ton of different uh prints just crazy amount of prints which is awesome uh, i don't really use many of these prints usually so um but they're fun to have they're fun to go back through i'm very excited about this one shot that they added here's you know, production sketchbook. So a lot of uh, the extras that weren't included in the back of the book kind of right here. Um, and then some, also just some fun goodies. So that is an overview of Carbon and Silicon and the book Shangri-La by Matthew Bablett. All right, so that was a quick overview, probably not so quick overview of Matthew Bablett's, hopefully I'm saying his name right, uh, Shangri-La and Carbon and Silicon. Now, as I said, uh, Carbon and Silicon was probably my favorite of these two. I loved both of them, uh, but Carbon and Silicon just had that, uh, the do androids dream of electric sheep, I am robot, all that kind of stuff going on. And it was such a cool epic that just spanned so much time. I loved it. It was brilliant storytelling, beautifully rendered. It is so nice seeing these stories. Uh, come to life off of the off of a digital page instead of reading it on my computer or iPad whatever you read your digital device on or uh, it, It's so nice. I I Got back into reading after college using an iPad and reading through that but that was kind of my gateway drug to reading uh, real books, you know real books that are just uh, physical books and 
I just love holding books in my hands. So that's how I love doing it. And it is so cool having these beautiful, beautifully published books finally in my hands. This awesome slipcase, the foil uh, tipped around the edges of the pages, uh, the embossing on everything. Beautiful stuff, love it. All the extras are just crazy cool. Uh, love it. Uh, if you are not following Magnetic Press's Kickstarters, they do a lot of really cool stuff. Some of it uh, might not be for you, but these books and some of the other ones, I'm always following Magnetic Press. So if you're looking for some advice on which, uh, which uh, Magnetic Press books might be for you or not for you, hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, or on YouTube in the comments, like I said, and let me know and we can, uh, we can talk it out and get you there. Um, but if you are gonna order off of Magnetic Press's website, make sure to use the link in the description of this video because that'll get you 20% off your first purchase through their web store, and that also helps support the channel. Anyways, that's it. Uh, let me know what you're backing on Kickstarter. I would love to know, love to know what I'm looking for. Uh, I currently have, I think, I just counted today nine Kickstarters currently out right now. I'm not backing any ongoing one right now, but I have nine that I have backed and that have been successful. So that's pretty exciting, pretty cool. Very excited to get those in. Uh, but is there something going on right now that I need to know about on Kickstarter? Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all those things, but comment. Love talking with you all. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay safe. I dropped a book.